So, I was flying over my Minecraft world and I came across this super cool little village on top of a cliff. Perched there, if you will. See, there I am, flying about. Yeah, time for this village to get itself a makeover. And in this episode, it's going to be the church. The Minecraft church. Time to upgrade it, improve it. Maybe we could call it a reformation. See what I did there? Anyway, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. I would love that because I will reply to those comments. If you say I subscribed, I will reply to your comment. And also, if you want me to check out your channel and put a comment, let me know as well. And also, before we get this church reformation underway, let me know which building in the village should we tackle next. Anyway, let's do this. So this is the church and let's get it converted into something looking a little bit more splendid. By the way, I've got some uh, stalkers here. No, uh, visitors to the server here are going to be watching me build this church today. More about them in a second. We've got some glass here. These are the ingredients. Optional skeleton head. We've got stone bricks. We've got cobblestone. We've got... Uh, oak fence. Five different types of stair. Birch, spruce, cobblestone, we've got uh, oak and stone brick stairs, chiseled stone bricks, and this is for the middle or the inside of the church, you've got a jukebox, a uh, sinky thing, cauldron, and an enchantment table. Four different types of glass, stained glass for the stained glass windows, though, obviously. Um, now, for the hangers on here, we've got um, some cookies, there we go, and uh, some, some melon, nice uh, healthy fruit, uh, melon for him as well, and then a puffer fish, let's try and kill off uh, that guy. So, uh, let's get building. going to start with the front of the build. To start with, let me clear my inventory, and we're going to go for some stone brick stairs, some cobblestone, we're going to grab some glass, optional skeleton skull thingy jiggers, um, some cobblestone, and I think that's about it for the front. Right, let's get building. What I'm going to do with this door, first of all, is actually just put it one back like that, and it already adds a bit of depth to the build. I think it looks a lot better already. Upside down, stone brick stair right above it. And then we're going to grab also a chiseled stone brick, just for a little bit of detail on front. When converting this church, what I want to do is try and retain some of the flavor of the church. <laughs> Look at those derpers. Look at those faces. Um, ret retain some of the look and feel of the church. So we've got, got some upside down cobblestone stairs above and below the glass, just like that. Then I'm going to go for a chiseled stone brick right above there, like that. And then more chisel stone brick right above there just like that and then on top of that a cobblestone stair and then just build up the walls like that either side and that's going to be just a little bit higher than we had before that is going to be the front now you could put some optional gargoyles if you don't know what a gargoyle is then i'll try and put a link to the wikipedia definition of a gargoyle in the description one of the weirdest things i've ever had to do in youtube right let's have a look at the side because that is the front what do you think not bad it still very much looks like the original what do you think guys they're, they're just not paying attention just can't get this the staff these days okay so i'm going to build the left hand side of the church and then all you got to do is mirror it and copy it across to the other side. Okay, so these three blocks I just placed, they go under there just like that, just because that was a little bit of a strange part to the build. And then we're going to grab some of this stone brick, and we're going to change the side of this very slightly. What I'm actually going to do is just remove all that and then build it up like that, back up to where... We are level there with that one, just there. Got to be level with that one right there. Okay, same on the other side. Like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we're actually going to go for a cobblestone stair below that window, just like that. But above it, I've chosen to go for stone brick stairs there and there and above that window, just like so. And then a bit more detail, stone brick chisel stone brick there and there and that one I'm going to replace and put stone brick in just like that okay not looking too bad cobblestone stairs right there on top just like so okay um yeah that's looking pretty cool so far here on this side I'm simply going to get rid of that window like that going to take that window out and then just build this up here just like so, oops, that bit goes right there. Again, I just want to do the left-hand side of the build only. Um, but what I will do is put a turret on top. So this one here is going to be identical. So you go down there and do the identical stuff that I did on the other 
side, just like that, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's just repeating stuff I've already done from the left-hand side. It's gonna be the same as the right-hand side. Okay, so now for the tower on top, we're going to um, do that, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those blocks on there going on just like so. And what we want to do is come up two and a half. What do I mean by two and a half? Well, there's two blocks, and I want to add on a half block. Ow! I didn't put that out. <laughs> Apologies. Part of our ingredient should be stone brick slabs, just like that. And that's going to come up here and sit around there just like that. Two and a half tall on the tower. And we're actually going to put these slabs on there as well. Actually, it makes it um, just too high in total, but never mind. We can move on and go for a little bit of a sticky out bit on the top. We're going to go for three of these, just like so. And guess what? I missed out another block. <laughs> you think you prepare, but no, I forgot. Cobblestone walls. And they go on. We're going to go for kind of a Christian church here, so we're going to go for a cross on the top. Who's this? Is this somebody else? Did he go for a walk? Is that loud? Maybe he went for a pee. He must have gone for a pee. I'm glad he did it far away. And there we go. That's what it's looking like at the front. Obviously, this stone brick would go onto that side as well. But I'm just going to continue on on this side of the build and concentrate over here. Right, now I want to get our counting. Oops. Stuck stuck behind the, the rail there. One, two, three, four, five. Right, we want to get rid of these bricks in here. And we actually want to get rid of the whole of the end here. And I'm actually going to dig out some of the inside of the church as well. All the stuff on the inside. We'll just free that up. By the way, this ladder falls off. Um, and we need to put the ladder back on on the inside a little bit later on. Right, I'm going to go for a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And then we're going to make some changes to the windows. We're going to put a window there. And there. And there. So that's going to be three windows and just stitch up that little bit of cobblestone under there. What are these guys doing? They're building a chair. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, let's grab some stained glass. Uh, red and green and blue and yellow. And just spam this uh, in to here. Wherever you like. It doesn't matter too much. Whatever colors you would like to choose. There we go. Stained glass is in place. Okay. Right, now we're going to turn the corner here. We're going to make what's like a cross shape. Oh, by the way, we can get rid of these blocks as well. Like, like that. Um, and also on the inside, we can actually do that and that as well. I think that looks a lot better from the inside. Okay, where were we? Now, we want to go for a count of four here. One, two, three, four. Then a count of three. One, two, three. And then a count of four. One, two, three, four just like that. And then a count of um, three. One, two, three. Another count of three. A one, two, three. Just like that. There we go. It's not difficult. Not difficult to convert this church at all. Right, we want to go for... We want to spam these up. Now, how far up do these go, you're asking me? Let's just have a guess at that. What we want to do is be able to fit two windows in. You can make these stained glass windows if you want, but there we go. There's one window with top and bottom staircases, and then another window, top and bottom staircases, just like that. So that, you don't even need to count, as long as you can fit your windows in, that's the most important thing. And then on top, we're going to go one, two, three, and then one more, just like that. Same on the opposite side, like that, so we can do this nice and quickly, like that. And the windows go something like this, I think. Around the back side of the building here, it's all dark. The dark side. Who's seen Rebel 1? When I'm publishing this video, then Star Wars, excuse me, Rebel 1 has just come out. Um, this side is going to be cobblestone, okay? And again, it's very similar to what we've just done, but this time it's going to be... Um, cobblestone on the side, but again, I'm going to use stone brick stairs 
for the windows and again you can make these stained glass windows if you wish i'm just going to make them pretty plain just like so there we go um i'm actually going to do something a bit weird i'm going to come across here like that and put that brick just there like that okay we're kind of getting there kind of getting there i'm enjoying this i'm enjoying this put this brick here and then on top of it, we're going to go for two cobblestone stairs like that. I know there's a gap. I know you can see through, but that will all be fixed. It will all be fixed later on. <laughs> These guys have all got chairs. Uh, popcorn, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Did he steal his popcorn? What did he have? He doesn't, he can't decide. Melon or cookies? He's got the munchies, he says. <laughs> right, let's grab um, oak oak stairs and we're going to go for a little bit of a roofage design on this now the first brick is important it's going to face that way and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven blocks like that three four five six seven and then just keep on going one two three four five six only six up there because we've, we've come in one by one um and again <laughs> another block i've missed out sorry about this we're going to need some oak wood slabs for all of those of you who got the ingredients ready first i do apologize some oaky oaky slabs hey and another brick in the wall <laughs> has he missed us have i missed a spot <laughs> i really hope i haven't missed a spot <laughs> oh boy <laughs> i don't think i've missed a, a spot i really don't think i have Hmm. I think we're good. I think we're good. These guys are building such an amazing viewing gallery. Right. Now we're going to grab some cobblestone and we're going to try and seal things off a little bit over here. So what I want to do is just put this all the way over here like this. Okay. I just want to seal up the gaps. Same down here. I'm just going to seal up that gap there just like that. So the, the stone brick stairs wraps all the way around and um, this cobblestone comes up here just like so. Pretty good so far. Okay, now we can turn our attention to the back of the build. We're going to go for a couple of bricks of cobblestone just like so. And then we're going to go for stone bricks enough to just to wrap around a window. So we've done this a few times before, wrap around uh, a window. Now, is it a too high window? I think it is a too high window. Yes, it's a too high window. I just had to go and double check that myself. Um, too high window. Again, you can make stained glass if you want. Actually, I might as well. I've got stained glass in my hand. I might as well do that just like so. Um, and then here, we want to spam it up so we can contain a three high window. I think that should be good enough just there and I'm actually going to use um, cobblestone. What have they done now? They've got some shade. <laughs> that is insane what these guys can do in such a short space of time. I'm trying to concentrate and build a church. Um, yeah, three high window is what we want. And again, well, this would definitely be stained glass here. Let me grab some red stained glass. Okay. So that's what you need to do at the back there. Enough for a three high and enough for a two high window, just like so. Okay, now we want to grab some more of our roofing bricks. And we want to put on these roofing bricks so that they're actually just above the line of this window here. I think that should be right. So it's three bricks of cobble just there. And that brick's going to go there just like that. What that does is it comes across here just like that. And that's going to be our roof. We want to stick it out one more than the cobble. And you want to keep going with this roof as well. So just like that. And then I'm going to place that there to help me. And then that goes across there like that. There we go. On the inside here of this roof, we can do that. And then let's just spam on a little bit of, of that. I could put a bit of cobblestone there, actually, just to help. That would help a awful lot. Right, and then just bring this back here. Oops, like so. Um, what I've done here, 
I think, oops, that should be uh, like that. Again, I'm only doing the left-hand side of the church here. Um, I'm gonna copy and paste over onto the other side in a minute, just to save time on the video. It's just a question of you guys, if you're copying this, repeating exactly what I've done, but on the other side. So I think that is pretty cool so far. What I want to do is come into the church here again and just dis disguise all the bits that need disguising kind of like that. Do you know what I mean? Block it up just like so. There we go. That is actually okay. I'm actually going to raise this up one more uh, brick as well, I feel, or am I? No, I'm gonna go one, two, just like that. Yep, and then one, two, just like that. So I think it's a question now of just, before we go on the inside of the church, really we wanna just duplicate everything we've done, so just copy everything we've done to the other side. So the church is kinda getting there, it's kinda looking Okay, but we do need to pay attention to the inside of the church. <laughs> Let me see what the derpers have done. They've now got towels. I don't know. We're going to dry their feet while they walk. Why do they get wet feet when they watch me? Is that towels? What is that? <laughs> Very stylish indeed. Very stylish indeed. Right. We want to head off inside this church. Now, is it going to be a little bit spooky and dark in here? And do we need to take off shaders? I think... I think it's still okay. Right, first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the floor, and I've just realized we're gonna need another brick. So we're gonna place this church in the village in a wee minute. So, uh, right, let's get the inside of this church all tidied up. What I want to do is place a brick right there and there, like that. And we're gonna go for some upside down stairs there and there. So same on the other side. We're gonna go for a brick there, and some upside down stone brick stairs there and there. It's looking okay, it's looking okay. Right, obviously we need to seal in the floor. So we're gonna seal in the floor or the ceiling like that. It's a floor if you're up there, okay? <laughs> um, right, so what do we have on the inside here? Hmm. I'm gonna take that block off and that block off, I think, and just go for some upside down stairs there and there. All will be revealed, right, upside down stairs here and here, 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 and here, and um, this is where I need that big wooden log. Did I put the log down? Of course I didn't put the log down. It's another block I forgot, right. You need some sort of wood, okay? I'm just gonna choose oak oak wood like that and this is going to come all the way along to there providing some support for the whole of the church roof just like that cool um do we want to turn them you could turn them if you want no we don't want to turn them we don't want to turn them upside down stairs here as well like that upside down stairs here as well just like so um, over here as well, we can just build up the cobblestone, build up that cobblestone just like that. Um, what I will do is go for something very sneaky. I'm gonna take that block off and do that and that. That block off, do that and that. And can we do something similar over here? I think we probably can. That block off and there like that. So this block here needs to take turn back into cobblestone. And that's looking a lot, a lot, lot neater. This block here, again, can be turned as well, just into stairs, and it just looks a lot fancier from the inside. So there we go. Let me just hold that there so you can see exactly what I've done. Okay, now we just put on a little floor here, somewhere above the, the parapet there. And then over here as well, same thing. Boom, 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 boom. So you could make a little door or some way of getting up there if you want in your church. Right, let's head back on inside and let's get this place uh, finished. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. <laughs> They've got a floor. We've got a floor. They've got an awning. It is madness, I tell you. We're going to grab some enchantment table, birch wood, cauldron, 
and a jukebox and I think some spruce stairs. Oh, and also we'll grab onto an oak fence. Let's head back inside and we are gonna finish this off. You do need to be careful with the seats, not to do that. So I put the seats there and there, or there, or there, or there, 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 there. And some seats there, there, and let's turn these seats like that so everyone can see what the minister is saying. And he or she is gonna be standing right there at the pulpit. See, I know about churches. I know about churches. I've been in a church before. And we're going to put a cauldron there, which is going to be like a font. I don't know. They like to, to have some holy waters or something like that. And then a jukebox right there. And then we're going to go for a nice big fancy cross at the back like that. Christian church. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You could spam some torches around. You could do whatever you want in these side bits here. But that is it for my church conversion so there we go the church is in place in the village and i thought i'd add a smidgen more detail we have some paths some fences maybe some trees some bushes and possibly some graves as well could be a little graveyard of course as soon as you do that you make the church the dead center of the village do you get it dead center shut up andy anyway guys thank you so so much for watching don't forget to let me know if you have subscribed i will put a comment on your comment and Tell me which building in the village to convert next. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again for watching. Have a very nice day and I will see you very soon. Ciao, ciao. I'm in the blocks. Be with you.